Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a number of royal family members and state officials where he reviewed various national topics with them. His Royal Highness affirmed that terrorism can only be faced by cooperation, coordination and firmness. He stated that terrorism targets development, which can only be achieved in a safe and stable environment, affirming that the government will counter terrorism and those who adopt this ideology. His Royal Highness warned that anyone who attempts to tamper with the Kingdom's security will be dealt with severely by law, noting society's complete rejection of such acts. During the meeting, the Prime Minister affirmed the government's continued support to development and its keenness to implement development projects within their specified timeframes. His Royal Highness added that the government has adopted a number of initiatives that support other projects to ensure their completion. Royal Guard Commander Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Royal Guard Special Force and was accompanied by Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was received by the unit's commander and senior officers. He was then briefed on the development programs and military exercises held by the force. His Highness then conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, praising their high professionalism and determination through their participation in the Restore of Hope operation in Yemen, alongside the Saudi-led Arab coalition. He pointed out the appreciation of the Saudi-led Arab coalition to the BDF officers, adding that this appreciation is due to the role and the high combat efforts of the officers in their various positions in the Republic of Yemen, under the aim of supporting the right and defending the security and stability of the Arab nation. His Highness highlighted the achievements of the Royal Guard Special Force in protecting national gains and defending their brotherly countries under the directions of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up of the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Within the framework of security cooperation and coordination between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, visited the UAE today, where he was received upon arrival by the UAE's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to the UAE's leadership and people for their supportive stances to all the measures taken by Bahrain to maintain its security and stability and deal sternly with anything that targets its national unity and social fabric. The Interior Minister noted that such fraternal stances are based on unity and a shared destiny. During the meeting, bilateral cooperation and coordination were discussed within the framework of historic relations and joint efforts to enhance these relations to further enhance security coordination. A delegation of the Interior Ministry's affiliates accompanied the Minister during his visit. 
The Shura Council strongly condemned and denounced yesterday's terrorist bombing that injured five policemen who were carrying out the national duty by securing our day morning on the Bidea Highway. The Council stressed that such terrorist acts that aim to disrupt the peace and stability of the Kingdom and its citizens and residents will not affect the government's efforts to bring terrorists and outlaws to justice. The Council added that the government will continue to implement its strategies and plans to combat terrorism and drain its financial sources, asserting that Bahrain is a state of institutions and law. The Shura Council stated that Bahrain will not tolerate any act that would harm its citizens, residents and national gains, or those who plot to threaten its security and stability. The Council noted that the Kingdom has been known for centuries for its coexistence for promoting religious freedom, stating that such terrorist acts are contradictory to all religious teachings, human values and principles, and are contrary to all norms and religions. The Council praised the role of security bodies and their affiliates and their keenness to protect all regions of the Kingdom in order to secure the practice of different religious rituals. The Council expressed confidence in the security service's ability to apprehend the terrorists and identify their sources of financing. The council members wish the injured policemen a speedy recovery. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Heba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain Oil Share Index closed today at 1,278.07 points, marking a decrease of 5.39 points below the previous closing. The decrease was investment and commercial bank sectors, and investors traded mainly in the investment with 42% of total shares. 83 transactions included 2,939,391 shares, worth 565,847 Bahraini dinars. Tamkeen Chief Executive Dr. Ibrahim Janehi has received Vice President of Head Worldwide Public Sector at Amazon Web Services, Theresa Carlson, on the sidelines of a visit to the Kingdom to attend the launch of the first Amazon Web Services infrastructure region in the Middle East. He emphasized the long cooperation between Tamkeen and EWS, which included a number of joint initiatives such as the C5 Cloud 10 Technology Accelerator Program, in addition to the launch of a number of professional qualifications specialized in AWS. Temkeen supports enterprises from across all economic sectors in their different stages of growth with AWS services as part of its enterprise support scheme. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Bahrain will host the fourth Middle East Process Engineering Conference and Exhibition, organized by Middle East Energy Events in the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. The event will be inaugurated by Oil Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, stated to take place from October 9th till the 11th. May 2017 anticipates to attract more than 2,500 participants, 200 exhibiting companies and thousands of visitors, keeping in line with global issues. This year's theme is sustainable growth through process innovation and downstream integration. <laughs> 